Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for May 21st of 2025 is titled International Space Station Crosses the Sun. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image of our sun, and we can see the distinct features associated with it, uh, including we're seeing some sunspots, darker areas around there, and we can also see some solar prominences right around the limb of the sun, where material has been lifted off the surface of the sun by the strong magnetic field present there. Now, Across, going across from bottom to top, we also see a number of images which are of the International Space Station. Now, the International Space Station in low Earth orbit is often visible, and you can see it, but usually in the evening, right after sunset, and that's when it's visible because that's when it's dark on the surface of the Earth, the sky is getting dark, but the space station being higher up is still illuminated directly by the sun. During the day, it does pass over all the time, but you can't necessarily see it unless it happens to silhouette itself against the sun, as done here, and you have the, pro the proper equipment to be able to record that. So here we see multiple images taken over just a short period of time as the International Space Station passed in front of our sun. Now, in order to get this, you have to have several things correct. You have to have the timing right. You've got to know when the International Space Station is going to be visible in the sky. You also have to have the location planned correctly. Because the International Space Station is so much closer to Earth, it will uh, undergo what is called parallax, and that is a shifting of its position. So, going just a small distance away could make the difference between the station passing in front of the sun or not passing in front of it at all. So one region of a country could easily see this, whereas another region might not see it. The space station might pass, in this case, off to the right or to the left of the sun instead. So you have to have all of those things just right and have it calculated and planned out. And of course, you've got to have clear weather as well. Otherwise, it's not going to be able to be seen. But when you get all of those things together, you can get an image such as the one seen today, where we see our sun in the background there and the International Space Station is passing directly in front of it with multiple images. Now, of course, there is a great distance between the two, the International Space Station, only a couple of hundred miles up above Earth's surface, whereas our sun is about 93 million miles away, or about 150 million kilometers off in the distance. So while the space station looks relatively large here compared to the sun, in reality that's only because it's so much closer. It is actually much, much smaller relative to the sun than it will appear in an image like this. So that was our picture of the day for May 21st of 2025. It was titled International Space Station Crosses the Sun. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.